It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer and we are back with another barrel aged Glen Afric beer to show you today. Right, this is in collaboration with Adam and Russell Coffee Roasters and it's a barrel aged breakfast stout brewed with coffee and vanilla. It's coming in at 10.3% ABV and it's been in a barrel Forget this, three years. Three years in a barrel. So uh, the beer, the look, it looks like, it almost looks like the wavy horses from the, the Guinness advert from years ago. Uh, I'm sure that's just a coincidence, of course it is. Um, why would you want to be associated with that? Right, let's get the beer out into a glass, see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on a can opening. Beer in the glass. Oh, <laughs> wow. Wow. Wow, wow, we are going to be in for a treat here today. One finger tan coloured head, jet black coloured beer in the glass. There is not a bead of light bleeding through that glass. That is like the abyss. That is jet black. Just how you want this beer to be though. Rolling the beer around in the glass, you can see the head retention, you can see how well behaved the beer is. Rocking the beer back and forth, you can see that carbonation chasing the beer up the glass. There's a little bit of alcohol legs going on, you can just see it. Just see the, the around the kind of, just above the head there of the glass, you can see the, 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 the beer, is, the alcohol is almost trying to climb up the glass here. Let's get the aroma then. Oh, do you know? It smells like monkey nuts. Do you know when you go into a, into a market, like a fresh, good old fashioned market, we got one in Car Cardiff Market. Go into Cardiff Market, they got a fantastic fruit and veg stall with fresh cauliflowers and carrots and all the other wonderful stuff going on. And then they have this big kind of like bucket of monkey nuts, peanuts, of course. And there's a certain smell to a big load of monkey nuts. You can, you can, you can, you can, you can smell it from a distance away. As you walk past it, you can, it's very like, of course, nutty, but organic, um, lovely, but that's, that's what I'm getting in here. And it's a nuttiness. That's what I'm trying to say here. It's, it's the malt that they've used in the beer is offering up an aroma of nuttiness. And yeah, the first thing that comes to my mind, Cardiff Market, walking past, smelling the monkey nuts. It smells absolutely fantastic. But then there's loads of vanilla and there's loads of coffee and there's loads of roasted chocolate as well. Roasted coffee, bitter dark chocolate I should say. My head is spinning with monkey nuts right now. I probably am a monkey nut, aren't I? <laughs> A little bit of plum, a little bit of prune. You definitely get that kind of barrel as well. This barrel aged for three years. I don't know though, I've not looked at what barrel it is. We'll have a look in a moment. Let's try and guess it for now. Let's try and guess the barrel. Cheers, everybody. Oh. 
Oh, it tastes, it tastes almost like they've added some, just a little bit, just a little pinch of drinking chocolate. It's like the brewer, they, they, they purposely add a little bit of drinking chocolate to this and it's just offering up like a, a slightly kind of lactosey, milky, creamy, lovely, almost like a hot chocolate flavour. But it's not, I want to reiterate this, it's not like overly done. It, 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 it's not like super sweet beer, which isn't, isn't what I like on the, uh, when, I, when I drink an Imperial Stout. So it's, it's a touch of it. And it, and it works really well, if indeed they have. It might be a fact that being aged for three years in a barrel, it's just naturally developed that. For me, everybody takes different things, don't they? I'm just giving you my own personal kind of take on this beer. But I'm definitely picking up a little bit of drinking chocolate today. And it tastes fantastic. Fantastic. Vanilla, bitter dark chocolate, big, thick, creamy mouthfeel. Whoa, it's a beauty. You get that barrel as well. I'm going to make a guess at this. I'm going to say, I'm going to say it's a rum barrel. I might be wrong. It might be whiskey. Should we find out? Uh, matured for three years in Speyside whiskey barrels. I was wrong. It is whiskey, not rum. And then infused with a bold, richly flavoured espresso blend for our caffeinated friends around the corner from us, Adams and Russell. So, we, okay, so it's been aged in a barrel for three years and then Adam and Russell have come round from the coffee roasters and they've kind of added, uh, infused with a rich richly bold flavour some espresso so maybe maybe then that that's when I it's just my own personal thing I'm picking up a little bit of drinking chocolate I think it's a great thing I think it's a great addition because you're getting a little bit of sweetness from the malt lots of roasted nuts roasted flavours from the malt that monkey nut we talked about earlier that nuttiness that biscuitiness that nuttiness is fantastic the vanilla then the barrel, I said rum, it's whiskey, there's a little bit of woodiness coming through. And then for me, it's just a small touch, a small, a small kind of tickle of drinking chocolate. It's fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. I'm going to really enjoy the rest of this. I've chosen to review this on a Friday. <laughs> so I'm going to enjoy this now on the... It's my last... Beer, to be honest, on a, on a Friday. It's, I'm going to have a couple of days off now, Saturday and Sunday, just relax with the family. Um, it's been a really busy week on the channel. Been doing lots of building work here in the conservatory, in the bar, trying to improve the sound, trying to stop the sound bouncing around so much in here, trying to kind of make it a little bit better. Um, trying to warm it up as well. I'm trying to insulate the walls here so that I can take out the French doors. I think if I can take out the French doors, take out the window behind you, take out the door to the side, then the echo, I think, will, will come down an awful lot. But I need to make sure it's really warm first before I start removing doors and windows. <laughs> right. <laughs> so it's been really busy on the channel. I've reviewed loads of beers this week as well. It's been a... It's been a uh, one of those, a really productive, that's the word, a really productive week on the channel. Every day, I've smashed it, got my beer reviews in, got them done, got them uploaded. This is the last one on a Friday, and I'm going to enjoy it. So rating for Glen Affric Barrel Aged Breakfast Stout, coffee and vanilla, look at that, 10.3% ABV. It looks good. Great head retention. It smells good. It tastes wonderful. That is a Stone the Crows 10 out of 10. 
10 out of 10 beer from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.